we're going to continue with uh, lesson 12, understand the slope intercept forma. This is um, uh, lesson 12 uh, homework. Remember, how can you represent and interpret proportional relationships? We're talking about proportional relationships. We're going to start with the example that we have. The table shows the cost for two, three, four, and five vegetable seed packets. What is the unit rate? Okay, so we have the vegetable seeds, and I have the table, which is important to make the analysis. Then, use the data to make a graph. Find the cost for one seed packet. Okay, so what we're going to use. Okay, the unit rate is the cost in dollars. Here, here's my cost in dollars for one packet. Okay, so I have the number of packets. So in this case, the graph shows that the unit rate is 1.5. So if you graph this number, for example, you have 2 and 3. So I have 2 um, in x, okay, 3 in y, okay, this is the 2 and 3. Then you have 3 and 4, 50, 3 and 4.5. This is an approximation, that point over there. How do we figure out that 1.5? Just divide, 3 divided by 2, okay. 3 divided by 2 is equal to 1.5. That's your unit rate. That's the price per unit. Okay? Now, how can you use the table here? How can you use the table to find the unit rate in the example problem? So in this case, as I mentioned, you divide that number. So you can divide the cost of any number of packets by the corresponding number of packets. That means 3 divided by 2 is here, if you see at the table, 3 divided by 2 is 1.5, 4.5 divided by 3 is 1.5, 6 divided by 4 is 1.5. So whatever um, cost you take and divide by the number of packets, you're going to get the unit rate. Problem number 2. What is the constant of proportionality in the example? What is the slope of the graph? What they represent in the context of this problem? How do the constant of proportionality and the slope relate to the unit rate? So there are several questions in one. So we're going to answer them. So in this case, I'm going to say, we're going to start with the constant of proportionality. So the constant of proportionality is 1.5. See? Because when you divide every single number, you get 1.5. And if you don't rise over run, you get 1.5. That's the constant of proportionality. Okay, it's 1.5. Now, the slope and the slope is 1.5 also. Rise over run, slope. Then, they represent... that one packet of seeds cost one dollar and fifty cents, 1.5, okay? That's what they represent because you divide by the unit. Uh, so in this case, you get 1.5. Now in this case, I'm going to say that the constant of proportionality the slope and the unit rate are the same they are all the same you are talking about the same situation the slope the unit rate okay the constant of proportionality they are all just the same. Okay, let's move to problem number three. This is a medium 
problem, okay? So I have the table show how many words Julian can type if he types at a steady rate. Use the information in the table to make a graph. Find the slope of the graph and explain what it means in this situation. So we're going to graph, okay? So in this case, I'm going to start with uh, 0, 0. Okay? That's a point that I'm just... Um, have here and then look at this one you have 2 and 80 okay so I have 2 in X now look that 8 is not here so we're going to make an approximation this is 50 this is 100 so I'm going to say here is uh, 75 and uh, 80 is around this point here so I'm going to say 2 and 80 is here okay then I have uh, 4 and 160 Let's see 4 and 160 I'm going to have it close to this point then I have 6 and 240 here. Black, if you're in the building, and then black, uh, in the building, please come to super services. Ms. Black. A and 220. That's so why I go A and 220 is around, uh, I'm going to say here. Now I'm going to graph. So I'm going to use my ruler. See all that, all those dots. If you put it together, it goes to zero here. It's not perfect graph because you do have an approximation point. So that's your graph. Okay, what's next? In this case, uh, they are asking, the table shows how many words Julian can type. If he types a steady rate, use the information in the table to make a graph. Find the slope of the graph and explain what it means in this situation. What we're going to do, rise over run, if we want to find the slope. So I go up how many units? How many units you went up? You went 80 units, okay? You went 80 units. Remember that the slope is rise over run. Now, 80, you went up 80. How many units you went to the right? You went two units. And if you simplify what is 80 divided by two? 40, okay? So in this case, 80 divided by 2 is 40. See, you just go to this point. 80 divided by 2 is 40. 160 divided by 4, 40. 240 divided by 6, 40. 320 divided by 8, 40. Constant of proportionality, slope, unit rate. So in this case, I'm going to say, use the information in the table to make a graph. Find the slope of the graph and explain what it means in this situation. The slope is 40. 40. Now, what it means? 40 is Julian types 40 words per minute okay that's what it means that Julian types 40 words per minute now next problem I have the price for movie tickets at town theater is shown in the graph the price of five movie tickets at center theater is three three point seventy five greater than the price of five movie tickets at town theater. What is the price per ticket at each theater? Okay, so we have the graph. So in this case, we're going to, for example, look at this one. How many units are you going up? This is town theater tickets, right? So how many units are you going up? You're going six. How many units are you going to the right? You're going one. So it's six dollars, okay, per ticket. So in this in this case, I'm going to say. Town, town theater is uh, six dollars. Okay. Now, center theater will be in this case six seventy five. It is uh, six dollar and seventy five. Okay. So because it's uh, 3.75 greater than the price of five movie ticket, so I'm just those 6.75. Uh, okay, number five. It's a really, um, I'm going to say a lot of complex, it's just we need to know um, a little bit of uh, conversion factors. For example, I have a hardware store buys 300 feet of nylon rope, 300 feet. The store sells the rope by the inch. Now, we went from feet to inches, okay? So that means conversion. A customer can purchase 40 inches. See, we are talking about inches. And at the beginning, it says feet of rope at $1.60. The store sells 
all of the rope and makes profit of $54. How much did the store pay for the rope in dollars per inch? So my first step in this case is uh, I'm going to find the unit price first. Okay, I'm going to find the unit price. Um, remember that in, a customer can purchase 40 inches for $1.60. So I'm going to have here um, customer unit price. Okay, I can do that one because it's talking about inches and the dollars. Uh, unit price. So this is equals to uh, $1.60 divided by 40 inches. Now, if you divide those two, it's equals to 0 0.04. In this case, we're talking about dollars per inch. Okay. Now, we have 300 feet, okay? And we need to convert to inches. So in this case, what I'm going to do, how many um, uh, inches in a feet is 12, okay? So in this case, I'm going to multiply 300 feet uh, times 12 inches in one feet, okay? The units cancel out. So 300 times 12 is equals to 3,600 inches, okay? So I have my inches. What I'm going to do now, what I'm going to do is the total customer paid. How much the customer paid knowing the 3,600 inches? So in this case, I have the 3,600 inches, okay? And then how many, how many, uh, what's the price per inch? 0 0.04, so times 0 0.04 dollars per inch. So one inch. So this one cancels out. And if you multiply these two, you're going to get $144, okay? Remember, we keep going in this case. What we want, how much did the store pay for the rope in dollars per inch? So we have 144. Now, here, the store sells all the ropes and make profit of 54. The profit is 54. And in this case, remember, we had the amount paid. Uh, in this case, the total customer paid was 144. So I'm going to subtract. So amount store paid is 144 minus $54, we we're talking about dollars, so it's equals to $90, okay. What's next, okay, was the store unit price, okay, how much did the store pay uh, for the rope in uh, dollars per inch? So in this case, we're going to have store unit price, is $90, okay, divided by 3,600 uh, inches. So this one is equals to 0 0.025 uh, dollars per inch. So in this case, we can give solution here, oh, sorry, here, per inch. So we can say that the store paid um, 0 0.025 dollars per inch for the rope. Okay, so that's what the store paid for the rope per inch. Point uh, 0 0.025 dollars and um, that will be the solution of the problem. Remember, if you have any question, let me know. Uh, send me an email and I'll help you out.